Do you have tight shoulders with stiffness and soreness? If you're suffering from scoliosis, costochondritis, or forward head rounded shoulder posture. Hi, my name is Annie. This is Abel, and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. I'll be demonstrating a simple Pilates yoga physical therapy based treatment plans to help stretch your rounded shoulder posture safely and effectively utilizing a belt to lengthen and stretch your shoulders and chest safely and effectively. So get your mat ready and join me and Mr. Abel. Okay, my friends, let's start in cross-legged position. And if this is uncomfortable for you, you can place a pillow on your bottom to help support your back. And with a belt level to your knees area, with a little bit diagonal position, we're going to start with a gentle flexion. Just gently pull the belt away from each other to create some tension. As you inhale, slowly look up, trying to engage your upper back by squeezing your scapular back as you breathe out keeping your navel in and then hold that for three seconds to slowly warm up and i'm still pulling the belt away to slowly engage those scapular muscles and then slowly lower it down with your breathing so let me turn to my side so you can see. Keeping your back straight. Inhale. So for those with scoliosis, you might find one arm a little bit higher. So try your best to level it together. And for those with costochondritis, with chest pain, slowly depress your shoulder down to engage as you go up. You might feel some pulling pain on your chest. And if you can't look up yet, you can keep your eye gaze straight for absolute beginners. But slowly look up for those who want to challenge themselves. And then pull the belt apart as you exhale, slowly lower it down. For those with tightness on their shoulder, like frozen shoulder or shoulder injury, be careful or anyone with soreness only on their shoulders due to a workout, this is a great way to warm up your shoulder or to cool down after your arm day workout. So slowly look up, keep pulling that belt apart, depress your shoulder down, keeping your core engaged as you slowly go down. And as you lower it down on your knees level, slowly depress your shoulder down more to fully engage your posterior depressors of your shoulder. As you inhale, slowly lift your arms apart again and lift it up overhead. So I'm still pulling it apart without really moving my arms away. You want to keep the tension tight on the belt as you go up, shoulder depressed, as you reach overhead, you can pull it further backward if you like, if you can challenge it. So I'm past my ear level, but for those with extreme tightness, you can be just in this level with a little bit hunched shoulder. Try your best to engage your core so you're not pinching your nerves and your tendons of your shoulder. When you keep your spine straight, it helps your scapular muscles engage more as well as it helps open your subacromial space on your shoulders to help to prevent shoulder injuries. As you exhale down, breathe the air out as much as you can. Last one, my friends, inhale, slowly keeping your Hands leveled together. For those with scoliosis, try your best to catch up on one side. As you go up, slowly look up. And then once you reach overhead and you pass your ear level, try to squeeze your upper back and depress. 
and then still pulling the belt away as you exhale slowly go down and breathe out so that's a nice warm-up the next one we are going to do some a little bit rotation and side flexion as you inhale so for those with dextroscoliosis so let me face forward first if you're leaning a lot on your left because your curvature is on your right you're gonna try your best to keep it level and this time we are slowly lowering it to the side so if your curvature is towards the right you're trying to open your left and then lower your fist down and then your left elbows behind your head a little bit to open keeping your head straight and then pulling it behind you your right hand and your left hand as much as you can and hold it there and then slowly go back up and for those with level scoliosis which is curvature to the left you want to open your right lower your left hand pulling it further back engaging your upper back and then pulling further as much as you can if you can go further down towards the mat you can each one is different on their flexibility and for those with just tightness on the shoulder you can do alternating left and right just to release both sides for those with scoliosis focus on the one side only so inhale and exhale feel that lovely stretch all the way to my upper back I'm not twisting my neck keeping my neck straight so we're focusing a lot on your shoulders today for those who play the violin or anyone with one-sided musical instrument you're gonna try to open one side more extra you can do both sides but you want to hold a little bit longer on the area that you can feel a little bit more tightness so my recommendation is hold that for 10 seconds hold at end range so as i go further down i'm gonna hold it further all the way down and once i feel like i'm not moving anymore i'm still pulling the belt all the way down and then pushing as well on the opposite hand so I'm doing a contract relax I'm pulling down with my right as I lower to the right and then pulling my left hand towards the ceiling and that feels a nice tension on your shoulder and hold that for 10 seconds hold for beginners and you can progress to 30 if you're feeling that you're ready to go advance as long as there's no increasing pain it's just a gentle stretch now slowly lower to the other side so I'm really pulling it down and you can really challenge it more and you can feel that your elbow is almost touching behind your head and if you can't reach all the way down yet like this one keeping your wrist stable you don't want to twist your wrists then you can just feel some lovely stretch all the way to your middle and lower traps and then slowly go up if there's any tingling sensation stop you're pulling your nerves a little bit deeper already you just want to focus on your tendons muscles and ligaments and if your nerves are getting irritated stop lower all the way down if you can so now i'm really lowering all the way down to the mat now i could touch with my right hand as i go overhead with my left with my breathing keeping my navel in squeezing my core to keep my back straight last one my friends to the left take a deep breath and exhale and slowly lower all the way down in front well done my friends and now let's challenge it a little bit deeper stretch now as we go up and this time as you reach the end range we're gonna challenge it by pulling it down it's like a pull down exercise but the belt is going behind your head to a w position and if you can't do this yet stop 
and it's okay. So I'm pulling the belt apart, keeping my elbows level to my shoulder, and then slowly rest the belt on my shoulder as I pull down all the way down to my waist. My elbows to my waist as I exhale, and then inhale, pull the belt apart as I slowly go up to the ceiling. Inhale, as you go all the way down and slowly resting the belt on top of your shoulders and squeezing your elbows tight, you breathe out. Inhale, lift, overhead, exhale down. Keeping my posture straight, do everything slow and controlled so you're not hurting your shoulders, your neck. It's all about control and gentle movement patterns. Inhale, reach. As I reach up, I'm really squeezing my upper traps a little bit to engage for a contract, relax. And as I exhale, I slowly pull it down to a W position and gently lower all the way down. So let me go sideways so you can see it from the side position. So as I inhale up, And I'm really squeezing my upper traps, separating the belt apart. And then as I exhale, I'm slowly lowering it behind my head and then gently resting behind my shoulder blades, squeezing my elbows tight and then rest. Last one, my friends. Inhale up. And exhale down. Well done. Now we are going to progress by extending your arm on one side. So as I pull the belt to the left, I'm bending my right elbow and then slowly lowering it down to the mat, my left fisted hand, and then my elbow pointing up to the ceiling and then slowly go back level to your shoulder and then transferring it to the other side pulling it out i'm gently pulling it with my right hand my right elbow straight this time my left elbow is bent and then slowly lower it down to the mat pulling my sh my left elbow pointing to the ceiling as i touch the mat with your breathing again go back to the center lifting my right hand and elbow and then i'm shifting it to the other side you feel a lovely stretch on your elbow joint as well and slowly lower it down as you reach your elbow bent and then when you reach down the mat you're going to pull it further down as you can tolerate your elbow pointing to the ceiling for a lovely stretch then slowly go back to the center for those with scoliosis you want to try to open the concave side so if your right side that's your scoliosis you want to focus with your right elbow straight and then left elbow bent to open your left side. As you go down, keeping your back straight. So this is more shoulder mobility, not the curvature, but it will help the curvature because your shoulder gets really tight with scoliosis. So as you go up, you wanna keep your elbow straight before shifting to the other side. So now my elbow is straight for level scoliosis, left curvature, keep your back straight pull lower your hand down and then your right elbow pointing to the ceiling for a lovely stretch as you breathe out last set pull all the way back gently lower elbow pointing to the ceiling feel a lovely stretch and then slowly go up and my recommendation is start for three to five seconds hold and then slowly progress to 10 seconds as you tolerate your flexibility and mobility of your shoulder. You don't want to be drastic on your first day. As you breathe in and breathe out, last one. And then slowly go back to the center and then let go of the belt. Well done. Now we're going to do some yoga exercises so we could do 
nice stretch on your upper back. We're gonna start with your palms up, elbow straight, and then we're gonna do a gentle hero stretch. So you're gonna slowly place your right hand behind you, palms facing back. And then your left hand overhead, and you're gonna try to reach and clasp your fingers together with both hands and if you want to see sideway position I'm slowly from this side and if you can't reach it yet that's okay so you want to place right hand behind you left hand over and then try to clasp and reach for your fingers and hold it there you're gonna feel a pulling pain on your right shoulder and opening on your left. So your internal rotating your right and your external rotating your left. And if this is too difficult, it's okay if you just reach the low back and the upper back and just hold it there. If you can't clasp your hands yet for absolute beginners, but as you progress, you can slowly reach it back. And you can use the belt for beginners so with the belt, so one hand reaching back and one hand overhead. So I'm going to try to pull my right behind and then my left on top. You're just going to shorten the belt so you can challenge it like this. So they're interconnected together and you can slowly lift to challenge your internal rotation of your right and then pull down to challenge the external rotation. So you can back and forth and hold that for five seconds hold. And then down for the absolute beginners, use a belt. Inhale up, exhale down. As much as you can tolerate. Now we can switch it up to the other side so this time, I'm reaching back with my left and then my right side, I'm external rotating and gently pull it up to challenge my left internal rotators and pulling down to challenge my right. I say breathe in and breathe out. Feeling that lovely mobility of your internal and external rotation of your shoulder. Inhale, exhale, last one. And hold that for five seconds. Hold for beginners up to 10 seconds, as much as you can tolerate as you slowly progress. Inhale and exhale. And now after the belt, now you can challenge if you can do it without the belt. So with your palms up, slowly turn your left and then your right over. Clasp your hands and you can really challenge holding it well. So if you can hold this for one minute hold, that's a great deeper stretch on your shoulder. Keeping your core engaged, pull your navel in as you breathe out to release the tension away. Inhale and exhale. Last deep breath in and exhale. If there's any tingling sensation, stop. You want to slowly build it up, the flexibility. Okay, my friends, now we're going to do a pr reverse prayer position. So prayer position is when you place your hands in front of you. So this one is reverse. So you're going to try to reach back and place it in a reverse prayer. So as I turn around, making sure you're not hurting your wrist and your shoulder for a deeper stretch. And if this is too challenging, you can start with just clasping your hands behind you for those absolute beginners, keeping your back straight and slowly pull it up. 
But for those who want to challenge their shoulder mobility deeper, from this palms up, slowly thumbs down, touch the fingers first, slowly rest it at the low back area. As you slowly get flexible, you can slowly challenge and go to your mid middle part of your back. And as you hold this position, touching your elbows, keep your elbows squeezed back. I'm really opening my chest and my palms are resting together and my fingers. Keeping my head straight, my neck straight, and then pulling my elbows back as I take a deep breath in and out. So in side position, I'm keeping my back straight. I'm not hunching forward. I'm keeping everything straight. As long as there's no increasing pain. And as I said earlier, you don't have to do reverse prayer. You can clasp your hands and gently pull it back for a deeper stretch for absolute beginners. And if you still can't reach back like this, you can just pull back and try to reach it for absolute beginners. You don't have to clasp it for those who can't reach their hands together. It takes time to improve the flexibility for anyone who has shoulder stiffness and aches. If you have bad posture, like forward head and round the shoulder posture, you don't want to force it. You just want to improve your posture first before improving the flexibility of your shoulders. Because no matter how much we stretch our shoulders with bad posture, you're just gonna hurt your shoulder joint, your capsule, as well as your tendons and ligaments. Last deep breath in and exhale. The last one is cow face. So cow face is facing forward. Let's start with palms up again. I'm going to rest my right elbow over my left in front of me. And once I start resting it, I'm going to start to reach my hands together, wrists straight in front of me. So with my right elbow over my left, I'm opening my right shoulder more. So for those with scoliosis, with the level scoliosis like this, it's nice to keep your right elbow over your left. And for those with the other side scoliosis, the dextroscoliosis, which is a curvature to the right, you want to, to go over with your left elbow over your right, and then try to reach it. And hold that for 10 seconds hold for absolute beginners, up to one minute hold. For those beginners, and they can't keep their wrists together and palms open, you can just rest it forward and hold it in this position, hugging your shoulders and then lifting it up and down for absolute beginners and hold it up for five seconds. Hold and then down as you slowly can challenge, start pulling it and then resting your wrist together. Once you start doing this every day for the next three weeks, then maybe you can do the hero pose already to open your upper back for those who has a forward lifestyle. This will help open and then progress by lifting your elbows up and then down with your breathing. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one, up to 10 times. And let's try it the other side again. Let's do it 10 times. Right over your left, palms together and lift and down, two more, and down, last one my friends, lift, and down, and that's it. I'm hoping you're feeling so good on your shoulders, your neck, and upper back to help open those stiffness, soreness, and tightness away if you've been working out on your shoulder and you need to release some tension away, as well as for those with scoliosis or costochondritis, and I show you the modifications for beginners and then slowly let go of the belt until you can do all these lovely yoga poses safely and effectively without hurting your shoulder. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below regarding this video or, or if you have any 
video requests, let me know and I'll try my best to make a video just for you. If you want to learn more about Pilates, Yoga, Physical Therapy, Health and Wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and subscribe, share these videos to your friends and families who will benefit from this video. Always remember, be safe, be well and healthy for you. Until my next video, bye!